The Artists in Residence program is a program that we've started to try to increase artists' access to affordable space ownership, but also to really try to engage artists in a much more meaningful way in neighborhood revitalization. Not just putting artists in a warehouse somewhere, but really making sure that artists are on the street, are, are being taken advantage of for the tremendous amount of creativity no, that they can yeah, bring is, to making a neighborhood a better place to live and work. Well, uh, this has actually been a, a featured area for a lot of art shows in the past. Here at this uh, Zoller building, there's been a lot of various pop-up events. And we would always come over here and just notice this underused space just with like kind of a makeshift fire pit and a few little activities, but it was just really underused. And when you would go outside, it was just completely covered in like debris, tons of overgrown um, plants and trees, and just really wasn't, really wasn't even visible. So it was kind of like this little secret space on the street that no one knew about or even used. So my, my idea was really to take this um, previous sculpture garden that, that I started to hear about when I started asking questions about the space. I did find out that it was once a garden and it was active and they had things and sculptures in it. Uh, my idea was just to kind of bring that back and clean up the space and just make it more visible because uh, as everyone knows this side of the street here kind of gets lost. The only operating business is um, Blue Arrow Records, uh, No Problem Printing and The Boardwalk and it just gets this sense that a lot of people in there walk on Waterloo right around the boardwalk or the Blue Arrow and never really venture any further. So I was really just hoping to make it make a space brighten up an area with outdoor lighting and activities that would actually draw people to walk further on Waterloo. So that was that was really the main idea was just to bring people here. I lived in an apartment building for a long time and never thought that you could actually put your own personal touch in, your, in a rented space. So I like to have these workshops that show people how to decorate their, their yards, how to decorate their, their steps, uh, whatever things that they have outside, just a way to put a nice little planter or any type of life onto their space to make it look a little better and, and please their, their living area. So we're gonna be doing that all throughout this season with um, a group of succulent training workshops, uh, birdhouse workshops. Uh, a lot of people don't realize you could just put a small little birdhouse on your balcony or in your space and it's just gonna bring a lot more um, activity to your yard.